Before me and Ashley went on our road trip, we had like just introduced all the cats together with Talos and Jorge and Leonard, Ashley's two cats and mine. And we did it very slowly, you know, took time making sure they got socialized, kept them apart for like close to a week. So before we had left for our vacation, they've always gotten along really well and nothing got out of hand, but they would still hiss at each other a little bit and weren't really playing so much. But by the time we came back, they were like totally all best friends. There's been zero hissy and they're playing together all the time, licking each other, grooming each other, all this great stuff. So it's great to see that. And I am very, very happy that they get along so well. And something just changed the weather outside. It's dark and windy. And that just kind of put a damper on what I wanted to do today. Hi, Jorge. How's the man doing? You're just the happiest little kitty cat there ever was. All right, I'm going to the gym. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Disappointing how it's just really crappy outside today. I was hoping to get outside for a while. Oh, buddy, what's up, little man? Leg day at the gym is hard. That one sucked. I'm just, I think it's the weather, but I'm just tired today, no energy. And that leg day was tough. I am, I'm exhausted. Look at the plants that Talos has just completely destroyed. Talos eats every plant that he possibly can. But this poor guy, it's just got bite marks all over it. This one here, chewed up. These are all Ashley's plants too, every single one, including these weird things. Not really sure what's up with that. Uh, also, there's a terrifying one back there. My girlfriend's got some weird shit. Okay, ready, bud? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I had some lunch and it's a little bit later in the day, but I want to show you guys something that I've been working on for a little while now. This is the bike that I bought last year. This actually was a Trek 4300. Everything is taken off of the bike. And here's all the old parts. I don't even know if it qualifies to call it as a bike anymore. So this is the bike that I bought last summer when I started getting into mountain biking. Now that I have this new one, I wanted to completely update this old bike and make it super nice, basically a brand new bike by getting, I mean, all new parts. Like this thing has got spray paint on it. I don't even know what piece this is. But all these are just not in good shape. Like that's some of the gears. So I have been buying different parts and upgrading every little piece of this bike because I want to make it like my other style of bike. I have my full suspension one and this is going to be the other hardtail. It's going to be completely updated with brand new parts. Also I've found that it costs a good amount of money to completely rebuild the bike. It's like every single part and I've had to buy tools but every single part is like $70. I mean, there's other budget ones you can find. I've like worked my way around a little bit, but I've also had to buy all of the specific tools to rebuild the entire bike, like a chain whip and like crank removers and all these sort of things. It's been a fun learning process, but it's an investment to do this kind of thing. I also forgot to mention that I did repaint the entire thing. So that's all completely new as well. Next appointment for the day, and don't freak out. But I'm off to get a haircut. Don't worry, it was just a trim. 
They actually like added some like layers, cut like, I think like a, a couple inches off, maybe something like that. I feel like they always end up cutting more than you want, but it looks good. She did a good job. It smells really good. First cut in two years. It is so much nicer out now. It's warmer and the sun's out, but it's still, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's still kind of like orange out. Oh, how's my best buddy doing? Like everybody knows, there are wildfires going up around in Canada right now, and it's making everything outside look really orange, and it's been going on for a long time. Jorge! Hello, buddy. Jorge, what's this? What is it? It's a camera. Jorge! <laughs> He's been on the video a bunch today. Such a happy boy. So just like five days ago, Ashley came home with something pretty sweet. Bam! <laughs> that is a brand new 2023 Subaru Outback. Look at this Subaru family we have, green and gray. She had an Outback before this one, but she had to take it in because of some sort of noises that were going on. Uh, long story short, there was like $6,000 in repairs, so she figured, why not get a new one? <laughs> this thing is pretty darn sweet. It looks super nice. She got a kayak already on top of it, living the Subaru life. 2022 Subaru, 2023 Subaru. Pretty freaking cool. What are you boys doing? All right, boys, let's get some food. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, there's a the little fluff ball. Come in. Oh, yeah, there's your food, good boy. <laughs> 